Hey, Steven here from Excel Dent Removal. We've got a 2018 brand new Honda Accord in here. It's got a less than a thousand miles. The customer hasn't even had it a week and he already had a bike tire fall. Put this sharp dent, deep dent right here, right on the edge. This actually is a pretty difficult, tough spot because this is a double layer in here. There's barely any room to get our tools behind it. So we're gonna have to use the glue pulling method to pull as much of this out as I can. Now I can go behind in through the trunk area I might be able to get a skinnier tool in here to kind of work it out and finish it off but uh, right now we're gonna use the glue pulling method now uh, my customer actually did come to me a bit of a more of a distance uh, to have this done uh, because he knew that I could get in here and fix this without causing further damage he actually went to another dent guy closer to him and he had mentioned having to drill a hole into here to try and get in there, which probably wouldn't work because there's very limited access. And obviously he did not want to do that. He didn't want to drill a hole in his brand new car already. Um, the other option was is he could have gone to a body shop, made an insurance claim, and they would pull this, fill it, sand it, fill it with Bondo paint. Uh, they'd have to blend into the door, blend up around the top. Uh, not something you really want to do on a brand new car, having a paint on it with less than a thousand miles. It's going to definitely, uh, definitely diminish the value of this vehicle. So. Um, Paintless dent repair, obviously better option. What I'm gonna do is start with the glue pulling method to pull as much of this as I can out. And hopefully uh, that will get it perfectly flush. If not, like I said, I can get behind there, work on it a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna run a time lapse. It's gonna take a little while to do this. So you can watch as I'm glue pulling this, working on it a little bit, so keep watching. So I wanted to uh, stop here for a second and let you take a closer look at some of the progress on this here. Uh, let's just take a closer look, move in a little bit here. So I want to show you what I've got so far. If we can kind of see, there's some little, little lines here, a little bit deeper kind of dings here and here right next to this edge. And that is because just anytime you get a dent near an edge it's difficult to do whether we're pushing it from behind and definitely with the glue pulling method trying to get that little bit pulled out it's so sharp so stiff right there where the rest of this had a little bit of flexibility but this here is pretty tough so i wanted to explain you know sometimes you might uh, see some other videos where they're using the same glue pull thing where they're kind of squeezing it sticking the tab on there just popping it out all of a sudden the dent is gone there's nothing there that just doesn't happen um, it takes a little bit more precise uh, technique to know exactly where that you need to place that tab um, i had to keep moving it around keep moving it around turning it a couple of things um, also i needed to tap it down when i was done and that kind of blends out the metal a little bit um, with this one here right on that edge like i was saying it's so tough and such a hard edge that every time i would do it it may not have pulled anything and i had to keep doing it over and over again other times it may have pulled it a little bit but because it's so sharp right on that edge there um you know it just it makes a mound on like a volcano type of mound so you've got this mounds here on the top and there's still a small center and it just as it does it it pulls all of it up so then i just end up having to push it all back down again and trying to bring those edges down trying to hopefully be able to get down into the bottom there and hopefully get that out so i'm still struggling with it i'm having to move the light around try a couple of different things so i'm going to keep going on it with some glue pulling a little bit more here and hopefully i'll get as much as i can um, then i may just go from inside hopefully i can get a tool behind there to tweak 
the little bit of detail to get, uh, get it finished off. So keep watching, we'll keep going here. All right, so I'm all finished up with the dent repair on this Honda Accord here, right in this quarter panel, the dent we had here. Uh, just to give you an idea, I did try to go in through the trunk area in the back. I did have a longer, like really long whale tail that I could squeeze in here. I did get it all the way up to here, but once I got to that point and I was turning it and flexing it, there was just too much room. I couldn't pinpoint right where I needed to. So I just uh, kept going, spent about another hour and a half, couple hours, slowly pulling out uh, the small little dings until I got it smooth. And what I ended up doing, what I found that was working was I switched to a very small glue tab with just a little bit of glue, trying to just pinpoint small spots. Then I was using the slide hammer and that would shock it and just kind of pull it, give it a quick pull to get the little tiny spots out. So as I did that, I can continue to move it around and that's what uh, got it to finally work for me. Once I did get those lows out, I could work with it and just kind of continue to go with the rest of the damage until I can get it flat. All right, so we're gonna pull it outside. We're gonna take a closer look at it here, show you the results that we've got. So if you've got any questions on paint and stint repair or the repair I did on this Honda Accord here, uh, leave it down in the comments. I'll answer those questions the best I can for you. Uh, take a look in the description. I probably have some other links. I may have some links for some of the tools I used. If I could pull up uh, some of the glue tabs and a few things in the glue that I used, I might put some links in there for you for that. Definitely, if you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe and you know hit that like button it always helps thanks for watching